Hello friends, welcome to the Monday Key Unboxing. Today, we're back at eBay. Because, you know, kind of made sense. We haven't been here in a while, so I took a chance. Picked one that looked good. It said 10 random keys, guaranteed $93.49 and up. Region free, fast delivery. Well, they delivered on the region free, they delivered on the fast delivery. Let's see how they did on the rest. Let's see if there's any other relevant things in here. Keys are randomly selected when you purchase, sent via a messaging system, less than six hours. If it takes longer, just wait longer. Uh, lots of games in stock, I doubt it. Uh, if you're lucky, you can get a title like Player Unknown Battlegrounds. This is very rare. Keep that in mind before buying. Keys can be activated worldwide on Steam, so anyone can buy them. If you have any questions, issues, don't hesitate to ask. These keys were probably not picked by a computer, though. Um, when you see what I got, I'll just, you'll, you'll understand why. Just remember the titles as I go through them. So, here we are on Steam. Next first game we got Xenodyne R. Xenodyne R is a new 90s style shoot 'em up game filled with YM2612 music and real blast processing action where your reflexes and patience will be tested in their entirety. Packed with six crazy stages filled with bosses, five unique ships, unlockables, branching paths, and much more. Six stages. I mean, heck, we may play it. It sounds quick, at least. Um, one online now, two peak today, five all-time peak. And thank goodness we have the whole, the whole series, so we don't need to buy the bundle. Imagine that. Next game on the list, and here you go. This tells you why this was probably manually selected, which I can't imagine somebody manually selected this and let it go through. Xeno Hell. Xeno Hell is a 90s inspired shoot 'em up that is all about simple gameplay, just dodge, shoot, score with vibrant pixel visuals and a kicking 28 track, 28 track soundtrack with lots of content to boot. To boot. Zero online now, one peak today is six all time peak. And this was part of the Xeno Archives bundle. So now we have everything. I mean, it looks like a decent shoot 'em up. Uh, just, just it's too much of a coincidence that we got Xenodyne R and Xeno Hell right after each other, and we already got Xeno Hell once this weekend. So apparently, somebody's giving this one away for free. Next game on our list, Omega One. Omega One is it? Is is one explosive and amazing take on the shoot 'em up genre? It will have a leveling and unlocking system, online leaderboards, split screen versus mode, full controller support, and much more. It will have or it does have. Hmm. It better have it. It's supposedly completed about a year ago. 110 online now, 182 peak today, 857 all time peak. And we have all of the shoot 'em up bundle. <laughs> Well, this is one way to clear out those bundles, huh? Anyway, I guess it's all right. Reminds me of some arcade games I used to play in the 80s. I'm all right with that. Next game on our list, Lords of the Fallen, which pretty much was in the G2A bundle, I think, and it was like two bucks. The demonic, demonic Rogar armor is, army is reemerging from its dark realm. Harkeen, a convicted criminal rejected by society, is the world's last hope for salvation. Plunge into a fast-paced RPG using powerful magic alongside a complex and satisfying melee combat system. 61 online now, 133 peak today, 8,024 all-time peak. Next on our list, Countdown. Countdown is a space shoot 'em up inspired by 2003's Warblade. 
It has beautiful graphics and epic carnage as you try to survive the countdown by yourself or with a friend or compete online for the highest score. 30 online now, 261 peak today, 2012 all-time peak. This was also part of the Shoot'em Up bundle and also part of the Star System Studio Starter Pack bundle. So, again, two games from the same studio, two games from the same studio, and it continues. Metal Planet. This game is set on a distant planet called Metal Planet. Two corporations are fighting for control of a valuable resource capable of transforming matter. Transforming matter into what? You take on the role of a soldier with equipped power armor and a powerful weapon. I guess we don't need to know what matter transforms into. Hey, online now. 11 peak today, 142 all-time peak. All right. So here's where it gets a little ridiculous. And this is where you get burned on these. Especially these non-pro ones. So next we got Football Mogul 15. Which I was wondering whether it was going to be soccer or actual football. Football Mogul 15 is the 12th version of the addictive football simulation game from the makers of Baseball Mogul. This version includes rosters and player ratings for opening weekend of the 2015-2016 season. Enjoy controlling your football franchise in any year from 1970 to 2015. One online now, three peak today, ten all-time peak. I have no idea what this game is like. Next game, Baseball Mogul 2015. Baseball Mogul 2015 is the 17th version of the best baseball simulator you can buy. The groundbreaking franchise that revolutionized sports games continues to redefine the way you run and manage your favorite baseball team. Control any team from 1901 to 2014. 11 online now, 11 peak today, 20 all-time peak. Somehow, I don't think it's the groundbreaking best franchise if you have 20 maximum players at the same time this is very niche next game football mogul 2014 football mogul 2014 is the 11th version of the addictive football simulation game from the makers of baseball mogul this version includes rosters and player rankings and for opening weekend of the 2013-2014 season enjoy controlling your football franchise from any year from 1970 to 2013 if we have 2015, do we need 2014? Zero online now, seven peak today, 16 all time peak. And I can even get a free key because I review games. No, give me a key by request. Which is good, I guess. I mean, I don't know what else these guys have. I'm going to check this real quick. Sports Mogul Inc. Baseball Mogul 2017 this is the only game out of the collection of all their games that we don't have. <sighs> How'd that one do? Just out of curiosity. Didn't get it. How'd it do? Seven online now, nine peak today. 11 all-time peak. Their commercial's cool. Baseball Mogul Diamond. Baseball Mogul Diamond is the 18th version of the best baseball simulator you can buy, PC Gamer. The groundbreaking franchise that revolutionized sports games continues to redefine the way you manage your favorite baseball teams. I, I would take them up on that reviewer key, but I don't like sports games. Four online now, nine peak today, 15 all-time peak. If it's a racing game, if they made like a racing simulator, I'd be on top of that. But I don't like baseball and I don't like football. I like F1, I like Formula Drift, I like NASCAR, I like uh, motocross, I like all those. I don't really do regular sports games. 
I watch MotoGP. I don't know. How do we do today? Looking at our spreadsheet, which is shared in the description of the video. If you want to check it out and see what we got for the entire previous lists. I forgot to mention that yesterday. But anyway, today you can get caught up because it has everything going all the way back to January 1st, 2017 that we've picked up from these bundles. You can scan through it, you can look through it, you can do whatever you want to do to see all the prices that we, well, I only started collecting prices a couple months ago and the sites that we got it from based on a recommendation by somebody. But you can see what we got from the keys going all the way back. So... Xenodyno R is $1.99 on Steam, $0.61 cents on Kinguin. Let me fix this before I get any further. Where is Freeze? One room. There we go. That's better. Xenodyno R, $0.61 cents on Kinguin. 39 cents on G2A. So you know hell, $1.99 on Steam, 54 cents on Kinguin, 60 cents on G2A. And by the way, we spent $8.99 on this. Omega 1, or yeah, Omega 1 was $2.24 on Steam, 65 cents on Kinguin, and 60 cents on G2A. Lords of the Fallen was $29.99 on Steam, $1.94 on Kinguin, and $6.83, surprisingly enough, on G2A. Countdown was $5.99 on Steam, $0.66 cents on Kinguin, and $0.54 cents on G2A. Battle Planet was $5.99 on Steam, $1.61 on Kinguin, and $0.94 cents on G2A. Football Mogul 15 was $14.99 on Steam, $2.01 on Kinguin, $0.36 cents on G2A. And don't make think that I'm saying that the Mogul games are bad. It's just bad that we got four of them in one key pack and two from one, another publisher and two from another publisher. So the, we got three unique games. Uh, there's nothing against the games themselves. It's just kind of wondering what the heck happened. Uh, Baseball Mogul 2015, $9.99 on Steam, $0.42 cents on Kinguin, and $0.46 cents on G2A. I'm in not the best person to gauge whether a sports game is good or bad. So, by all means, don't take it the wrong way. Uh, Football Mogul 2014 is $9.99 on Steam, $0.87 cents on Kinguin, and $0.54 cents on G2A. Baseball Mogul Diamond was $14.99 on Steam, $1.03 on Kinguin, and $0.36 cents on G2A. And I'll bet if I buy another pack, I get exactly the same games. Exactly, if not maybe a couple different. And the reason being is because, if you remember, we were promised $93.49 and up. There you go. $98.15 on Steam. We would get the same games because these filler bumped that price up to the limit where they said it was going to be. However, $10.34 on Kinguin and $12.84 on G2A. So, you know, make your own choice there, whether it was worth it, whether or not. But I will say that to get this many from the same studio or the same publisher, basically we got an entire series of a game, two games, that I don't even like. So that, uh, there is no law on eBay. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the three-day key unboxing. Got a bonus extra key opening today because of the three-day weekend. And if you're enjoying a three-day weekend, I certainly hope you had a good one. I certainly will and did. And, uh, you know, I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Take it easy and thanks for watching.